Hello folks, I know many of you lost all interest in OnePlus after they basically became rebranded Oppos and merged the OS with the Chinese one. But OnePlus exists and I'm still hopeful that the company might find its way back to its roots. It sounds like the OnePlus 11 is moving up market, the next generation will focus on a high quality build and top notch performance according to Lixta Digital Chat Station. The phone will allegedly have a ceramic body built on a metal frame. Ceramics have been used on smartphones before including the now forgotten OnePlus X. They have unique sheen and feel to them, though they're both pricey and heavy. And the OnePlus 11 will be a top-of-the-line model, it has been all but confirmed that it will use the Snapdragon Asian 2 chipset, which was announced just the other day, just like Apple's A16 Bionic. The latest Qualcomm chip is built on a 4 nanometers manufacturing node by TSMC and comes off as 25% faster than the Snapdragon Asian 1 while being up to 45% more battery efficient at the same time. According to Digital Chat Station, the flagship chip will be paired with the generous 16GB of RAM and the latest UFS 4.0 storage, which promises to be both faster and more efficient than the UFS 3.1 seen in 2022 flagships. The phone will reportedly have a curved display with Full HD Plus resolution and a punch hole camera in the top left corner. Note that the Insider only refers to the OnePlus 11 and not Pro. We are not sure how the company will split up its next generation series yet. The OnePlus 11 is rumored to have a 50 megapixels main camera IMX890, 48 megapixels ultra wide IMX581, and a 32 megapixels 2x telephoto IMX709. We have seen renders showing the new design for the Hasselblad camera island of the OnePlus 11 Pro. The vanilla should use the same overall design. Finally, everything will be powered by a 5000 mAh battery, which will accept up to 100 watts wired charging and up to 50 watts wireless charging charging, which should be fast enough to top up the battery in less than 30 minutes, and that's plenty fast. The OnePlus 11 will unsurprisingly be running Android 13 with the company's Oxygen OS 13 on deck. As you've probably heard already, OnePlus could be dropping the Pro moniker from its next flagship phone, sticking to the tried and tested one flagship every six months formula. Make no mistake, the possibility of a OnePlus 11 Pro is probably still out there, but the majority of leakers and insiders agree that we might not see two flagships next year. As a quick brain exercise, what features could a possible OnePlus 11 Pro improve from the base OnePlus 11? Well, judging from the specs listed above, we will be dealing with a fairly standard entry-level flagship phone that should generally aim to make the OnePlus 11 Pro way more appealing. To do this, the latter could definitely improve the hardware in some key areas. Those could be the camera setup, the memory and charging speeds. In particular, we expect the OnePlus 11 Pro to be available with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of onboard storage. The Sony IMX989 sensor could be a serious step up from the more premium flagship, which could also score a longer telephoto camera or even a periscope shooter in comparison to the OnePlus 11. Finally, the OnePlus 11 Pro could score the 150 watt Super VOOC charging, which fully topped up the OnePlus 10T in around 23 minutes. We expect the OnePlus 11 Pro and OnePlus 11 to be announced and released to the market sometime next spring, which is the usual release window for OnePlus products. So expect the OnePlus 11 family in late March or early April as usual. In terms of pricing, our guess is that the OnePlus 11 Pro to start at around $900 and this here OnePlus 11 might realistically be a $100 less, possibly boasting a $800 price tag to boot. Guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about OnePlus. Thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one. Good luck to all. Oh, 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 oh,